Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and I had to get my nice little uh, Zelda jacket on here, my Breath of the Wild jacket, because we do have some big news for you. Potential big news, because obviously this is not my source, this is not something I can personally verify by like walking up to the exact, you know, place it came from and be like, hey, tell it to my face. But here's what I can tell you. A very reliable person has now put out a report that they know the name of Breath of the Wild sequel, or at least what the game was called at one point early last year. I want to specify here, it's a rumor, but a rumor from a very reliable source. This source has access to things like sales data for Nintendo games, including the upcoming Kirby in the Forgotten Land and the initial launch sales for that. They were right about Switch crossing 100 million units at a certain point last year. They were right about sales data for Metroid Dread. This person is an industry veteran, and this person's name is Paul Gale from the Paul Gale Network. You guys know him. We have had him on our podcast before. He's an amazing guest. He's an amazing person and an industry veteran working at many places, you know, working for Go Nintendo and several other outlets over the years. So without further ado, we're going to get into this rumor. We're going to tell you the name of Breath of the Wild 2, at least at some point during its development. And this name actually makes sense on why Adrian Nomu said last year they couldn't reveal the name yet because it's spoilers. It gives away well, let's just say a very big aspect of the game. Now, before we talk about this, if this is your first time watching Nintendo Prime, I would appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button, drop a like. Uh, in fact, I love our subscribers so much, we're giving away a Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one of our lucky subscribers. All you need to do is not only be subscribed, you need to head to the gleam.io link down in the pinned comment or to the description to enter. We'll be announcing the winner literally on April 1st. I know that sounds like a joke, April Fool's Day, but that's not the case. We'll have a live stream, we'll announce the winner then. You don't have to be present at the live stream to win, there might be a couple other giveaways at that live stream, but that's neither here nor there. Let's dive into this rumor. So I'm going to get it right off his website. You guys can follow along with me. Here we go. And then I'll give you some additional independent verification that I did. So it says rumor Breath of the Wild sequel's name is The Legend of Zelda Breath of Duality. And in case you needed any evidence, by the way, of how legit Paul Gale is, he put a picture of himself with Eiji Anomu at E3 2010. That's right, the, the, the man, the myth, the legend has met several Nintendo employees. All right, hey everyone, Paul Gale Network just received a rumor and it revolves around just what is the mystery behind the name to the sequel of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. According to the intel, the sequel to Breath of the Wild and its main hook is right in the name, which establishes on the breath familiarity from 2017 hit and giving a nod to the fact that you can play as more than the aforementioned titles link, including various polar themes Hence, duality. Duality between character abilities on land and floating regions, past and present, darkness and light, etc. The individual did note that this name was seen a considerable amount of time ago, supposedly, and could have been one of many template titles. This is a rumor for a reason, because it does not come from a direct source. It's more of a source of a source. If real, it does make sense as to why Nintendo and Mr. Eiji Anomo have been so hush-hush on the title, if fake or not, or not final yet, close to what the actual name ends up being, this still makes for an interesting topic to discuss. Even if it's not the final name, it does give you an idea of some aspects on it. So I did talk to Paul Gale privately to independently verify this information. I cannot obviously give you any more information on where this stuff came from. All I can note is, I mean, where do you think stuff like this would come from? So look, I don't obviously know if this is the title, but if it is, The Legend of Zelda Duality. Note he didn't say specifically what it means between like playing as more than just Link. There has been rumors and speculation out there about playing as Link and Zelda in two different time periods, past, present, underground, above ground, up in the sky, all these different things. Could you still use the Sheikah Slate abilities, but only as Zelda? Remember that old rumor about Sheikah Slate abilities as Zelda, where she can't actually do any combat, but she can do puzzles with the Sheikah Slate abilities, whereas Link is focusing more on the combat side of things with his new arm and all the new abilities that come with that. So there's 
a lot to consider when we're talking about a name such as The Legend of Zelda Breath of Duality. And I know you might go, man, that name sounds like it could be fan made up. And I hear you, but guess what? So did Breath of the Wild, so did Twilight Princess, so did The Wind Waker and Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time and The Adventure of Link. All names of these games could easily be fan made up. So you can see the logic behind this name. You keep the breath of section to invoke the feelings of Breath of the Wild and to let you know, yes, you are in the world of Breath of the Wild. We're not separating from that, but it's a duality world now. There's the sky, there's the ground, there's multiple playable characters, there's the past, there's the future. That is what is really cool about this is some of this stuff comes directly from the sources saying, hey, duality multiple playable characters past and present like what do we learn here we learn the name we learn the uh, obviously that multiple playable characters are involved i'm presuming zelda but we obviously don't know that for sure uh we know other things as well such as there's going to be a past and present in this game whether or not we can play in both the past and present i don't know but it's there and obviously you know the sky and the ground that is something we're already well aware of so this to me is so exciting what this is going to mean for the full story, what this is going to have to do with maybe there's a duality involving the final boss. Maybe it's Ganondorf and Demise from Skyward Sword. There could be this craziness happening in this game, but if it's called Breath of Duality, there's going to be a lot of duality themes in this game. The light and the dark, the positive and the negative, the sky and the ground, the male and the female, the bad guy and the original bad guy. There's going to be so much that we can glean from this. So here's what I'm going to tell you guys right now. This is a rumor, right? Tim Foyle had it. Do what you want. It comes from somebody who is extremely reliable. And even he is saying rumor because he didn't hear it firsthand. Heard it from a reliable source. So here's what we're going to say about this. Go wild. Go down in that comment section. Type away. What do you think about this title? Do you think it's real? If it is real, let's imagine for a moment that it is. What are the possibilities that come from this? Again, he mentioned specifically, it means somebody's playable besides Link. It means there's a past and present something in this game. It means there's a light and dark something, and obviously it means that there's that sky and ground aspect as well. Duality being the theme of this game. And you could see why A.G. Anomo would not want that title to get out last year. The moment you say Breath of Duality, your mind races to all these possibilities that are likely in this game. So, again, now I know why he did not want to reveal this name last year. Assuming that this is still the name, could be a slight alteration of this name, of course, at this point. Because, you know, they didn't reveal anything officially, so they could still obviously make changes. Now, I hope that we get this name revealed, obviously, at E3 2022. And if this ends up not being true, I mean, that does suck, of course, like any rumor, like any report, uh, until Nintendo announces it. You know, nothing is official, but still, based on what I was able to independently verify, this is exciting. And I want to note, sometimes we do get really occasional leaks. Back at E3 2011, when they had the Skyward Sword demo, when I was running Zelda Informer, we were told, because we were at E3, we were told by a Nintendo representative about the story in Skyward Sword that Nintendo did not want out there. The high school nature, Groose really you know, wanting to be with Zelda, but Zelda being into Link and there being a drama there, combined with the fact that Zelda was actually going to be the goddess Hylia. Those are massive spoilers for Skyward Sword that we were told by a Nintendo representative at E3 2011, and we were the ones breaking that story to the world, and people didn't believe us. They thought we were lying. Game came out, ended up being true. So we can get leaks like this. It does happen, it's just rare. So, you guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.